Hello YouTubers, I'm Parways and in this uh, PyQt5 video I'm going to show you that how you can load a .ui file in Python. So before this I had a video that how you can convert your .ui file in Python. So for example, uh, if you want to create an application in PyQt5, you're going to open Qt Designer, you uh, uh, design your, uh, uh, for example, application on Qt Designer. Now after that there are two ways that you can uh, interact uh, the UI file with the Python. So a UI file is an XML file and for that the first way was that you need to convert your .UI file to .py file. I have a video on that so if you haven't watched I will add the link in the video description. So the another way and the easiest way is that you can load uh, your .UI file. So it is the good and the best way because uh, if you're good in the XML in XML, so you can uh, bring change uh, and bring change to your uh, XML uh, .ui file. So now let's get started. The first, uh, I'm going to uh, create a simple design for uh, my UI file. So uh, the important uh, thing that uh, I want to tell that. Uh, uh, when you are going to install PyQt5, you don't have a Qt Designer by default. You need to install uh, Qt, uh, PyQt5 tools, and after that, you will receive Qt Designer. Uh, so uh, I have explained this on that video. Uh, you can watch that video in the description. So let me find. I have already installed. So you can install pep install PyQt5 tools, and this will be installed. It's easy and simple. So now I'm going to uh, find uh, PyQt5 dash tools uh, from here. And uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, this is Py. Yeah, mm, PyQt5. No, this is not. And I, yeah, this is dash tools. And in here, if you see, uh, you can see I have a designer. Now I'm going to click on this. okay now you can create I'm going to create a main window so I'm going to just for the explanation uh, I want to add a, a text edit in here uh, also I need to just a push button like this and let me change this to click me um, let me make it click me okay so now uh, let me just give a layout for this so I want to give it a vertical layout like this and make it bigger so guys now this is uh, my uh, simple UI design now I want to load this uh, in my Python file I cannot use this like this and uh, the first way was that uh, you need to save this .ui file and you need to convert this to uh, .py file. But uh, it's a little uh, hard and for example when you want to bring some change uh, you cannot do that. So the second way is uh, the loading the .ui file. So let me just save this and I'm going to save this. And let me find, uh, save this in my in this folder and let me give it uh, a name so my file for example okay so now I uh, I have saved this and uh, now let me just check uh, my uh, okay now you can see I have uh, this uh, file in here and now uh, you need to copy this in your PyCharm ID let me just copy this and paste this in my PyCharm ID in here like this so now you can see I have an XML uh, version of this you can see I have Q push button Q text edit and also uh, a nice window so now uh, I've created a Python file load.py now I'm going to load this uh, in here Okay, now first of all, I'm going to import some uh, libraries, so uh, some classes from PyQt5. So from PyQt5.QtWidgets, uh, 
import q main window i need q main window i need a uh, q application uh, also i need a q push button with q text edit uh, also from by qt5 uh, import we are going to use uic in here and also import sys okay now i'm going to create a class of ui that inherits from q sorry from q main window let me write the uh, init method and also super method super ui and self dot init okay so you can simply uh, use a uic dot load ui and in here you need to the first thing you need to give the uh, uh, file name so it is uh, uh, my file dot ui and this is the parent is self so the base instance is self okay so after this uh you need to show this uh self dot show okay now uh, at the end we need to create our app oh, so now uh, in every uh, PyQt5 application uh, we must create an application object and uh, so let me first create so app uh, q application and in here we need to give sys.argv so this uh, sys.argv parameter is a list of arguments from a command line uh, command line so uh, because python scripts can be run from the shell and it's a way how we can control the startup of our scripts and after that we need to create our uh, this uh, class object so let me call it ui window i call uh, create the object and finally we enter the main loop of the application so the event handling starts from the spine so this is app dot execute uh, so uh, the main loop receives events from the window system and dispatch them to the application widget and uh, the main loop ends if we call the exit method or the main widget uh, is destroyed uh, and this uh, the sys.exit method uh, ensure a clean exit uh, okay now uh, this is uh, our code and let me just run this and hopefully uh, we see our this ui file in here let me just load this okay now you can see that this is our window that we have created and we have loaded our ui file here now for example you can see uh, you can easily bring change for example uh, the title is main window and you can open your uh, this ui file and from here for example you can find this and i call it ui window and now if i run this so now you can see our this is changed to UI window. So, uh, for example, uh, as you see, we have a text edit in here. Also, we have button. For example, you want to implement signal and slots and mechanism, and you want to access to this edit text widget, or you want to access to the this button. How you can do this? So, for this, uh, we have a, a find child that you can use this. So, for example, uh, let me uh, write self dot uh, text text edit and uh, from here you can use self dot find child uh, it is q text edit and in here you need to write the name of your q text edit if you see your dot ui file uh, in the widget section uh, 
we have a key text edit and we have the name of text edit we have a q push button and we have push button name so in here you need to add the text edit name so let me just copy add this and paste it in here also let me find the button cell dot button uh, cell dot find child so you find child and it's q text edit and the name is a uh, push button like this just copy and paste it in here okay so now uh, let me create a method in here that I want to show you the real example so diff uh, clicked btn so if a user click uh, in the text edit I want to write something so cell so dot text edit dot set set uh, plain text and in here let me write for example please subscribe my channel and like the video okay like this so now we need to connect this uh, if you have watched my signal and, and slot uh, video uh, you know that what I mean so clicked I want to click uh, I want to connect this uh, click btn uh, slot or method to the clicked signal of the button uh, dot connect and this is self dot clicked btn so now let me just run it again Uh, clicked I have Russell dot button dot uh, clicked so I have problem in here now uh, let me just check this sorry guys the main problem I have in here it's not Q texted it it's a Q push button so by this reason I have received the error so let me load this and okay so now this is our uh, window if I click on this you can see I have this is my text that I have uh, written in there so like this you can load your UI file um, I will add a source code to the video description you can check my blog and uh, I have a lot of source codes in there and articles uh, please subscribe my channel and like the video also share the videos